I'm Alan Kenny, Managing Editor with Read.com, and I'm here at the NAREIT headquarters in Washington, D.C., joined by Nim Marjanovic, Vice President with Cornerstone Real Estate Advisors. One of the big stories in 2011 was the overall level of volatility, not only in the REIT market, but the equity markets in general. How has that set up REIT investors for 2012? Uh, 2011 was, was a, a, a very eventful year in, in terms of um, the extent of the European credit crisis, the vulnerability of the U.S. economic recovery, and just a, a, as you noted, the tremendous amount of volatility that impacted the, the equity markets uh, from those two events. Uh, one of the shocking events was how we went, how quickly we went from an environment of pricing, of pre-recession pricing in July, to pricing in a, another recession by August. We have a lot of unresolved issues. One, the European credit crisis. Uh, we haven't heard anything out of Europe in, in, in some time, and no news is good news when it comes to Europe. And we've seen the market trend a little higher in late 2011, early 2012. Unfortunately, in my opinion, um, I think that the aggressive austerity measures that some European countries uh, uh, adopted will continue to, to be met with resistance by their citizens. And as a result, we'll get you know, perhaps at least one sovereign credit default for 2000, in 2012, and that will have a tremendous negative impact on the markets. Uh, additionally, uh, I believe that there will be more geopolitical risks coming out of uh, the Middle East, which may have a dramatic impact in the price of oil, uh, causing a spike that may put a break on, um, put, put some breaks on um, our global economic recovery. On the positive end, I think we'll have, well, obviously the, the uh, November elections uh, will dominate national headlines, including events leading up to the uh, uh, Republican nominating convention in August, and that tends to be a positive for, for the uh, equity markets. And what are some of the key attributes that you're looking for in some of the stocks that you're adding to your portfolio right now? Well, th what we've been doing for the longest time, just given the, the rampant amount of volatility in, in, in the equity markets, um, we, we've kind of taken the, a page out of the 2008 investing handbook. That is a um, strict adherence to a low beta strategy in our stock selection whenever we feel uh, some bad news is coming out or when conditions are overbought. Nam, you just mentioned how heavily beta plays into some of your investment decisions. Can you give us an idea about what that means for the different REIT sectors in the REIT market? Certain sectors in the REIT market correspond to or, or have uh, various trading attributes. For example, when we feel conditions are overbought, when we have uh, a rampant amount of volatility, what we tend to do is go more towards the, the defensive sectors, such as uh, healthcare has proven to be very defensive. Uh, to some degree, uh, self-storage, and apartments, despite their uh, frothy valuations, have some degree of defensiveness. Uh, but when we want to add beta to, to the portfolio, we'll be uh, a little more drawn to the hotel sectors, and perhaps something like the regional mall sectors and the industrial sectors tend to exhibit you know, higher levels uh, of beta, particularly some key companies within each of those sectors. And what does that mean then for the current market environment? I think we're approaching um, somewhat top evaluations. If you look at the technicals, which we've started uh, uh, doing just to get a, any kind of assistance in this volatile market, it looks like we're in overbought conditions. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to have, uh, we're shifting the portfolio to a little more defensive tilt. And as a result, we're so selling some of our higher beta names in some of the higher beta sectors and going more into the um, lower beta, uh, more defensive sectors. Well, thank you very much for your insight, Nem. Thank you, Alan. And for more on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com. <laughs>